This is definitely impacting a lot of people who have to come through this corridor. Um, and so, yeah, our, our ultimate goal is really just to provide them some relief with this rail crossing. A railroad crossing that causes delays for tens of thousands of drivers is the focus of a study right now by Chatham County, the City of Savannah, and the Metropolitan Planning Organization. And they want you to weigh in on the future of President Street. WSAV's Sarah Smith is joining us with How You Can. Well, many people attended the first two forums tonight. President Street is one of only two ways off the islands, and for many, solutions can't come fast enough. I've been made late to work on several occasions because of the train. In the dark late at night, I was stuck there for about a half an hour. Islanders giving their feedback and sharing their frustrations. They are just two of almost 45,000 people who sometimes wait as long as 30 minutes for a train to pass at the intersection of President Street and Truman Parkway. Chatham County's engineering department says industries that use the short line railroad keep growing, causing these backups. Plans to relieve issues have been proposed. We just want to make sure the residents feel heard and that the solutions that are presented are what the citizens of Chatham County really want to see. Project manager Deanna Brooks says short term solutions are coming within five years. The long term solution is building a bridge over the crossing. That would happen in 10 to 15 years. People gave their feedback. Anastasia Bama is happy to hear change is coming no matter how long it takes. It's unfortunate, but working towards a solution is always better than just ignoring it. So I think, you know, the five years working on it or more will be worth it in the end. If you're a longtime resident here, five years goes by quick. Michael McGinnis, on the other hand, doesn't see why the project isn't moving faster. At what point do we start considering that all these projects are for a concept called Savannah and not the people of Savannah? The second meeting is tomorrow from 4.30 to 6.30 at the Mendonza Hearing Room on East State Street. If you can't make it, visit WSAV.com slash rail crossing to weigh in all line. Once all of the feedback is in, another public meeting will be held in February with the final results of the study. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.